Good. Doing good, feeling good, dude, feeling good. Dude, don't, don't be shaking your head. Kevin's <laughs> a pro, okay? He's gonna be ready for five fives. And to be honest with you, like even if I have a three round fight, I always do championship rounds. I'm ready for like, the, the you know, obviously, I know he is the, the hardest fight ever. That's what I prepare for. I know some guys like, you know, I'm gonna go out there and knock this dude out. I don't I don't look dude, for it. I can't happens. tell you how many, I, 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 I grew up in karate. It was one of those mandatory things when you got a dad that trains martial arts, yeah. you know, did karate his, his whole life, but huge Kung Fu fan. I think my experience is uh, a lot more up there than people realize, you know, but that being said, uh, this man has a lot of like kickboxing bouts and stuff like that as well, so. Uh, you know, I guess a uh, fight where you get 170 pounds, is it, a, is it a good experience? Is it a miserable experience? What is it? I mean, uh, if I was probably stuck in the hotel the whole time, it probably would suck, but I'm able to move around a little bit, so uh, not too bad. I had an Airbnb set up before I got here, so I got the video game plugged in, so I'm enjoying the trip so far. Can't complain. Uh, I got kicked out of high school my freshman year, and the school that I went to was a martial arts instructor, and literally all day, every day, all we did was martial arts. I was in school, supposed to be learning uh, regular stuff. Uh, perhaps it's starting to slow down a little bit. Karate all day, baby! No, no, I'm taking karate versus kung fu. When I come into Vegas, I'm just like, it's a Kevin Schmoke party, you know what I mean? Like. Y'all don't be seeing me at the hotel trying to drink with me. You know, I'm just ready to get back to the drawing board. Got taken down two times. That's not good enough. So. We are definitely being smart, for sure. I mean, uh, less sparring, uh, spending more time on my physical therapy, and, uh, you know, taking care of the body. See? Wonderboy Thompson in the role of underdog. Yeah. Time, watch him take this those of all time. You're ready to touch close. Good luck to both of you. Kevin Howland, as soon as next week, this fight clock brought to you by Toyo Tire. Right here with us, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. So great to see you. It's it's been a year. Uh, you know, I'm still I'm still at it, and it's great to be able to share the octagon with Kevin uh, tomorrow night. So he's a great striker. He's got that. Didn't hurt too much right here, or like right here, but right here, it's a little sore. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, I've got bumps and bruises, and of course, with a win, it, it, it's all worth it. You know, going out there and put on a good show in front of the fans and. Uh, I told everybody, you give me a striker, we're going to get fight of the night. And Kevin Holland was up for the grabs, and uh, we, we put on a good show. Kevin, you seem to have some hand problems going on in the fight. At what point did the right hand start to bother you? Because you didn't throw it very much as the fight went on. Uh, I think I hurt him in the first round, and after that, <laughs> it was hurting. So, yeah, it is what it is. The rules that we had going into this fight. Um, I know later on in the rounds he was shooting. I know he had a busted hand. But I think I fell down in the first round. He let me back up. He told me in the first round. He's like, hey, I'm not taking you down. I'm like, all right, man, sounds good to me. Well, hats off to you too, my friend. That was a fantastic performance. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really cool to be fighting. Uh, I, well, I knew the company still believed in me when they, they re-signed me another check after two losses back to back. So right. hats off to Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, his pops, and uh, everybody over there in this corner. Wonderful team. Get away there. I mean, I, I like to, I know he, he likes to strike. I like to strike. And the, our last two fights, obviously, were grapplers. And by the way, if I high five you, I want to high five you. Like I'm not shooting underneath. I <laughs> high five to try and take you down. Just throwing that out there. Because I was wrong for that. Head kick for Thompson. Wow. These are defending very well. Huge elbows. The goal is always on at the top of the list, and but why not have some fun fights on the way? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it was a great fight tonight. Thank you, Kevin Holland. Uh, That's. Go so Holland back away now. I don't think he will. Wow. He, they don't want to... But I also know he's a good striker. I've been watching him for a while. I think he's OG in the game, so it kept me motivated to continue to work that as well. So uh, it's going to be a fun, fun night. 
percent. I mean, this guy is. I don't even see how he makes 145. It's ridiculous. He's taller than I am. Uh, but the, what's what's even crazier is the skill set that he has and him being so young. Yeah, man, this lead leg. I knew he was long, and, and I was watching. I went back and watched the uh, the Brazilian cowboy fight, and uh, he kept throwing. Yeah. Thank you. Because look, he's, he's up. Oh, Holland just missed with that left hand. Whoa. Whoa. I thought too far ahead. You know what I mean? So. Uh, there it was a couple weeks later. I was losing to Vittori. Then here it goes the Dacus fight. I figured me and Dacus were going to reschedule right away. We did. The goal of the title is always at the top of the list for sure. Um, and always striving for that. I mean, especially watching Leon Edwards out there, another, another fellow striker. Not I'm never the same person in any fight. I may throw that front kick with that uh, straight right hand behind it almost every time because I do really like that combo when we're getting deep into the fight. But make no mistake about it, I'm not the same person I was a few months ago. I'm not saying I'm a hugely different. I mean, you might drop the soap a couple I, times I, to make it more than nine, but it should be okay. <laughs> For this fight, it's definitely got a smile on my face for sure because I know the fans are going to be excited about it. The UFC is going to be excited about it. And I mean, have you seen Kevin Holland fight? He's freaking. Out. And it's kind of holding. It's holding him up also. Not doing the right move. Oh. Oh. Holland still firing back somehow. Somehow. One of the toughest puzzles to solve in the world. We warming up. He was defending takedowns. Uh, honestly, I thought this was my second pay-per-view ever. I didn't realize the Jacare fight was a pay-per-view. I didn't I didn't know that we that you know it was a pay-per-view during a pandemic like that. So yeah. He's had six feet three is just hard. He'll jump in the air. He'll do lead. I'm telling you, be looking for it. And what surprised me the most is how flexible that dude was. I don't, I, I didn't even get my kick up that high. Like out of nowhere, he kicked literally above my head. Uh, yeah, man, if Brawler has any ideas and if Brawler's doing anything, I completely back Brawler 100%. Uh, Brawler is gonna be doing what you guys are doing right now in the future. And uh, he's gonna do a great job at it. So if you guys aren't following Brawler right now. I've never been really, I mean, there is a switch that flips. Yeah. Whenever that, that octagon or that cage close, closes, the octagon closes, you know, there is a switch that.